Welcome back to Cool Game Collectibles. We are back with another Cool Game unboxing, and today we are taking a look at the quarter scale Michelangelo from the animated Ninja Turtles line by PCS. So before we do anything, we have to show some love to PCS on the creativity on this art box that you see the Michelangelo quarter scale, uh, very comic book, um, very cartoon s box as you can see the side of the box has an image of michelangelo uh, same thing was on the front of the box and then here's the look at the back of the box taking a look at the huge statue that we are about to unbox and then on the other side of the box uh, pretty similar you have michelangelo there We'll spin back to the front of the box, and there you have it. And once inside, we have the styrofoam uh, note tape. On this one, we have the two straps. I actually prefer when companies do the two straps. We have the bulky styrofoam to keep the statue well protected. Take the lid off, and here you can see all of the plastic, all of the wrapping. Let's go ahead and get all of this stuff off so we can get a clean look of all of the pieces that are here in the box. So here you can see uh, his arm, there's the body of Mikey, there's the base, uh, bandana, piece of uh, the base, portrait, nunchucks, another piece of the base, and then another piece of the base and his belt. So we'll take each piece out take a look at it and then get Mikey assembled so in just doing the overview of the pieces you can see how the orange pops you can see how that green really really stands out it's just an awesome paint job I think PCS did an awesome job with this I'm excited to get it out of the box and onto the turntable so let's go ahead and start with the base all right so here we have the base very weird very abstract uh, very unique uh, you can see some type of face on the uh, front of it actually it's more like the side of it because uh, this triangular shape is more on the back and that's where Mikey pegs in um, this is definitely something from the Technodrome if you watch the animated show then you know all about the, the Technodrome and all of the different robots that the turtles will fight this was the first piece added to the base there is a secondary piece that attaches to this one so here's that piece which kind of stretches over the top of the base just adding to the uniqueness i like the blues in the base i like the gray uh, light grays and the dark grays the shading on the base is awesome so we do have one more piece to add to the base and then we'll get mikey out of the box and that piece is going to attach to the back of the base. So here it is, uh, kind of like another lever. Uh, this one does not have the additional attachment on the top like this one. Uh, put this cap in, it's just another piece, I guess, kind of like an antenna on the top of the robot. And here we have Mikey pegged into the back of the base. This is the only peg. Initially, I was a little worried that this wouldn't be enough support, but the peg is pretty strong and I think it should hold up over time. As you can see, some shading on his thighs, uh, on the shell, as well as the muscle definition. So here we have the portrait, and this is the collector's edition. So it only came with the one portrait. I like this look better. The exclusive does come with a smiling portrait I just prefer to have all of the turtles match and Raphael and Leonardo did not come with the smiling portrait here we have the bandana only came with one since we only have the one portrait but it looks good I like the portrait I like the bandana I like the effect on it that makes it look like it's blowing in the wind as you can see all of the shading on this side can't forget the M on his belt. Even the M has a very animated look to it. 
here we've attached one of his nunchucks to the arm that's already there. Let's go ahead and add his other arm and then we'll get the nunchuck that goes in this hand. There you have it, a very dynamic look. The back one has the nunchuck swinging backwards. Uh, the front one has the nunchuck swinging backwards like he's in attack mode and ready for action. Yes sir, Michelangelo is looking amazing. Can't wait to get him next to Raph to see what both of them look like together. And then I do have Donatello coming in soon, followed by Leonardo, who should be in within maybe the next month or two. So like I said during the Raphael unboxing, I'm just happy and excited to get this line back in order. There you have both of them next to each other with the one eighths underneath. Man, they look good, man. Can't wait to get all four turtles next to each other. For all of my Ninja Turtle fans out there, y'all let me know what y'all think of these two new additions to my collection. And let me know if y'all have these, which one is your favorite. And let me know if y'all think I should get any of the villains. I thought about getting Shredder. I've even thought about Bebop and Rocksteady. Y'all let me know what y'all think I should do in terms of the villains. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, stay cool.